I think it's about time that we give the yearly Call of Duty release a break. And there's a few good reasons for this, but the two biggest ones that I personally can think of is... Well, number one, it'll increase the life cycle of a Call of Duty game if you don't have one every single year. And number two, it'll help reduce franchise fatigue. Now let's tackle franchise fatigue first. We've had a yearly Call of Duty release since COD 4. Or at least in terms of, you know, people playing multiplayer. Since COD 4, you know, we've, we've had plenty of Call of Duty games come out every single year around the October-November area. And there's just only so much innovation you can do. While COD 2019 and Modern Warfare is unique in terms of many of the aspects, it's still a Call of Duty game, it's still recognizable, it still has all those gameplay elements that anyone who has come to play COD over the past few years, you know, you can tell it's a Call of Duty game. But some people don't like that. Some people don't like that, you know, there's only so much they can do that's new in the series, and it just all eventually just blends together. This is the fourth Modern Warfare game. We had the original trilogy, and now this one, which is the soft reboot. And if you've played the campaign, then there's definitely a call to a potential sequel, another Modern Warfare 2, if you will, but under that different timeline. So people who've been playing Call of Duty every single year might just be getting tired of essentially rehashing the same things. Which I can totally agree with. There's only, again, so much innovation you can do and so many things you can do with the storyline, multiplayer, until you're kind of just feeling the effects of, ah, just another Call of Duty game, another grind for, for a year, six months, until the game kind of dies out. And you just start to feel it. And especially during the times of, like, Black Ops 3 and 4, I was definitely feeling the franchise fatigue. Uh, Black Ops 3 had pretty much nothing to do with the first two Black Ops games, which I thought were phenomenal. The story in Black Ops 3, I just, it didn't hit with me at all. I wasn't a fan of the jetpacks, and however that is innovation, um, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Black Ops 4, I thought was just an awful experience. Zombies was good, but I didn't like the multiplayer, and there was no campaign. So Black Ops 3 and 4, around that time frame, is when I just started to kind of get bored with Call of Duty. Even though I might be like a master prestige in, in Black Ops 3, and I was a few prestiges in Black Ops 4, I just wasn't really having a ton of fun with it. But with COD 2019, I'm, I'm totally having a lot of fun with it. I'm, I'm enjoying playing Modern Warfare. But the thing that scares me is the fact that, which we're going to kind of segue into the next topic, which is the life cycle thing that scares me about COD 2019 is the fact that, well, it's not going to be around forever. Sure, you can still find games to play on the older Call of Duty titles. I can still go back and play World at War if I want to. Hopefully, I won't find a, a lobby with hackers, but, you know, the older the game gets, hackers are going to be there. By the time a new Call of Duty comes out, the current Call of Duty typically doesn't really get any content added to it. Uh, we had a few exceptions. I think there was a few different weapons added in World War II and I want to say Advanced Warfare that, you know, the life cycle was already said and done with, but they still added some content, but they weren't really pushing out content like they would with the new releases where we get new maps, new modes, things like that with Call of Duty now. Uh, once that yearly life cycle's over, you don't have that anymore. The developer isn't going to be working on that game because they're working on the next installment in the Call of Duty franchise. So I think that having a multi-year COD would help, you know, kind of reduce that fatigue and just keep a life cycle alive. Because as it stands right now, there's really no point in spending any extra money on a Call of Duty game, or at least the way I feel. When we had supply drops and whatnot in Call of Duty and you were able to get weapons and grind for this and that, then the incentive wasn't really there after that year's time, you know. For a lot of people, there was no point to buying the supply drops because, cool, I have this new gun, but once this new Call of Duty comes out, I'm not going to be playing this one anymore. So as such, you know, kind of the money I spent on this thing is, is kind of wasted. So I would like to see, you know, the things you get in a current Call of Duty title actually matter as opposed to, well, you got it now, it's gone in a year. Look at a game like Rainbow Six Siege, where you can spend money on all these different cosmetics, operators, whatever else is in the game, because the game has been supported for many years, and given Rainbow Six Siege and Call of Duty are two very different games, the premise is still the same in my eyes of, 
well, this game has been supported for many years, you're still getting content, so any content you've paid for kind of has value because you can still do something with it. Whereas any cosmetic thing I bought in Black Ops 2, say those camos and whatnot, I just don't have too much of a value to them anymore because I really don't go play Black Ops 2 that much because there's a lot newer Call of Duties. So I feel like having that uh, a multi-year COD, given two or three years, have a Call of Duty come out every two or three years, I'd be perfectly okay with that. I think that's what Battlefield does, a Battlefield game is out, and then in two years a new Battlefield game's out. So that would be beneficial to Call of Duty to do something similar to that. You can have a, a game with you know a lot more ambition, it can be larger scale, you're not kind of crunching developers, because that gives you an extra year or two for those developers. And we already have a three-year cycle, so imagine the quality of a Call of Duty game if we could have a four- or five-year cycle because games are being supported for much longer. That's just the way I see it. I would much rather see a game like Modern Warfare COD 2019 be supported for, for two or three total years and then a new Call of Duty experience come out because that way I, I feel I don't have a rush to grind to complete everything and that anything I unlock in, in Modern Warfare will actually have some sort of value to me because come next October, a new COD wouldn't be released and you know the content I have in this one still matters to me, still holds some value. I'm kind of just going to be repeating those same things. So the major points of this video are kind of just discussing the fact that you get a, you get a new COD every single year. You're going to get uh, eventually franchise fatigue. You're going to get bored of it. It's going to all start feeling the same and feeling a little stale. If we increase the amount of time that a life cycle is open for a Call of Duty game, then we can have larger scale projects and things that you unlock or do in game will have some sort of value or matter just a little bit more it holds a little bit more weight and also gives developers time to again make that bigger project and polish things off because as it stands right now every single call it due to release it's riddled with bugs riddled with problems at launch so obviously more time to work that out beforehand with betas and whatnot developers are easily going to be able to iron out some of those kinks and have a lot better of a launch i don't know that's just my opinion i would love to see call of duty you know ditch the yearly releases in in favor of a longer life cycle let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you guys for sticking around and watching and i'll see you guys in the next one cheerio mates